Hey everyone, it's LethalogicX. Welcome back to another video. So, we're gonna take a break from challenge locks this time to show you guys something awesome I found. So the other day I was sitting at home, lonely, bored, and flipping through Thingiverse, looking for some fun 3D prints to print off and help pass the time in quarantine, when uh, this print right here caught my eye, and I knew I had to print it out. So I did not design this. This was designed by David6722. I will put a link to his Thingiverse post down in the description so you guys can print one off for yourself. This promised to be a fully functioning 3D printed lever lock and I could not be more impressed. This just works so smooth. It's amazing. I cannot believe that this was 3D printed. It works so great. So I'm going to peel this open for you and show you guys what's inside and just how easy it is to assemble. So this lock actually only has two gates. You can see on the key there's just the tensioning knob at the back and raises for two of the gates there. And it just works so smooth. It's great. Anyway, if we pull these off, you can see there's just a little bolt down here. This uh, interacts with the shackle here. Very simple. And I think this is actually also pretty accurate to how a normal metal uh, lever lock would work. Anyway, super, super brilliant design and very nicely made. Get that cover back in place. Uh, now naturally, my next question is whether this could be picked or not. And of course it can. Of course. So, um, I took some advice from Bosnian Bill and I made a tensioner using the actual key and I've just got rid of all of the actual bumps that interface with the gates, leaving only the last one that interacts with the bolt. So we can slide that in there and we can get good tension on it. Now plastic locks do need a lot of tension in order to get them to bind properly. Let's see if we can get this one open here. There we go. Not too hard at all. There is only two gates after all. And we'll open it up again just to show you that nothing broke. It did in fact get picked. And we can reset it with the key still. Alright, so that's that. Um, the other day I was thinking about these gates that are in here because they are actually really thick and thus there is only room for two of them inside here. Uh, I started thinking what if we could print these gates out at only half of the width then maybe we could fit four of them in here instead of two. So that is exactly what I did. I printed out four more gates and these ones are only half as thick and thus there is room for four of them. So, I will see if I can slip all of these in here. There we go. And I just have like two of the same gate back to back so it uses the exact same key. And lo and behold, it works exactly as you would expect it to. Just now there's twice as many gates inside. Uh, if we can get this cover back on. Yeah, everything fits super tight inside this. So we will lock it back shut again. And let's see if we can get this picked with four gates should prove to be a little bit more challenging, at least I should hope. It's really hard to feel the feedback from these. 
plastic does not give the greatest feedback at all. And sorry for the crummy camera angle, there's not really too much I can do about this. There we go. All right, we got another open. And again, we will open her up and show you nothing is broken. Everything's working as it should. All right, so that has been this cool lock made by David6722. Again, link down in the description. I highly recommend you go print one of these for yourself, especially while you're at home self-isolating and have nothing better to do. Uh, so that's all I have on this lock. If you like what you saw, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and don't forget to have a good one.